Good morning. How the devil are you doing this fine day? Me? Uh, I'm eyeing the exit, actually, because as soon as this show is over, I'm heading to Dorset for my first break since March the 23rd, 2020. Oh, if you could only see the tiredness that lurks behind these glasses. Uh, our show today is filled with demolition and construction goodness, all served on a bed of organic sar sarcasm with a side order of scepticism. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and get this show on the road. Welcome to The Breakfast Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony. It's Friday the 27th of August, and as that guy just said, welcome to The Breakfast Show. I am your host, Mark Anthony. In today's show, Doosan unveils another new wheel loader. Hitachi and Deer part company in the US. Downwell goes barking mad. We get up close and personal with an intelligent Komatsu dozer. A Tennessee power plant goes out with a bang, and we mark the birthday of one of the UK demolition industry's most influential figures. If you've got any questions or comments or anything else, please leave them in the chat, and I'll get to them at the end of the show. But first, let's see who among the rich and the shameless is celebrating their birthday on this day of days. It's many happy returns to legendary Aussie batsman Don Bradman. Glenn Matlock, uh, the bass player, kicked out of the Sex Pistols for admitting that he liked the Beatles. Uh, Matlock was ultimately replaced by Sid Vicious, and those of a certain vintage will know just how well that one turned out. Uh, happy birthday also to German golfer Bernhard Langer. Many happy returns to them, one and all. But far more importantly, today marks the birthday of a former president of the National Federation of Demolition Contractors, Mr David Clark. The Silver Fox, the Silver Fox, the Silver Fox was an NFDC president when I was appointed as the Federation's press officer way back when. But he did good things too. Uh, he, it was during David Clark's presidency that the Federation's site audit scheme was first ratified. It wouldn't be until David Darcy's presidency that the scheme was became a prerequisite of membership. But make no mistake, the foundations were laid while David Clark was at the helm. Uh, David Clark was and remains passionate and outspoken. Those traits can be divisive, of course, and David Clark has certainly trampled upon a few egos in his time. But those traits are also what made him an outstanding NFDC president. So many happy returns, Mr. Clark. Your contribution to the industry is greatly appreciated. <laughs> Doosan has unveiled the DL420 CVT-7 Stage 5 compliant wheel loader. <gasps> With a maximum bucket capacity of 4.5 cubic metres, the Doosan wheel loader, I'm not going to say it again, is designed for quarrying, mining, construction, demolition, industrial and waste and recycling applications. The new model features a CVT transmission that combines the benefits of a hydraulic mechanical transmission and a hydrostatic transmission in the same machine. It allows the DL420 CVT-7 to automatically transition from hydrostatic power at low speed to the mechanical system to operate at higher speeds. Power comes from a Scania DC09 diesel engine that delivers 240 kilowatts of power at 1800 RPM. In keeping with the existing DL-7 models, the new, unit, the new unit rather comes fully loaded. Full LED working lights are installed on the cab, four on both the front and rear as standard, with the option of six each at the front and rear. For higher pedestrian safety, the LED lights on the rear bonnet have an automatic strobe function to indicate when the wheel loader is reversing. Using the new Doosan smart key system on the control panel in the cab, the operator can start the machine using a keyless device, helping to prevent machine theft. Uh, the smart key system also provides remote door control, door lock and unlock, door release, searching and other functions. The control panel also includes two vital USB uh, sockets as well. The Miller GT series heralds a new era of unrivaled power and cutting-edge intelligent coupler technology, increasing job site safety, machine versatility and productivity. It's the added versatility that you need at the value you can afford. 
To find out more, visit millergroundbreaking.com. Hitachi Construction Machinery has announced plans to terminate and dissolve its joint venture relationship with Deere and Company in North, Central and South America. Since 1988, Hitachi Construction Machinery and Deere have collaborated through a joint venture alliance. The two companies established Deere Hitachi Construction Machinery Corporation, or DHK for short, for the manufacture, import and distribution of hydraulic excavators. That was later consolidated with distribution of mining machinery in 2001. In truth, though, uh, the partnership between Deere and Hitachi dates back to the 1960s, when both companies were looking for new avenues to increase distribution. Deere was looking for distribution of its agricultural machinery in Asia, while Hitachi wanted to expand its excavator presence in North America. Both, uh, both companies agreed to assist with distribution in their home markets. By 1983, that arrangement grew into a more structured alignment for excavators. However, according to an official statement, and I'm reading this exactly verbatim, uh, in response to recent changes in the business environment surrounding the joint venture, Hitachi Construction Machinery and Deere have now decided to terminate to allow each to pursue its growth, st uh, growth strategy independently. There is no news at this point on what that might mean for the workers at the North Carolina factory that was the hub of the joint venture company. On yesterday's show, I highlighted the need for us to keep finding high-quality new demolition films to share with the watching world. Well, the team over at Downwell Group heeded our call and directed us to this film of a project the company recently completed at the Gascoigne Estate in Barking. So, are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. Many thanks to Matt Phillips, Alan Knight, and the team at Downwell Group for sharing that video with us. And obviously, congratulations on yet another job well done.
Sheppey Court, a Grade 2 listed building in Sheerness, has been earmarked for redevelopment and conversion to create six new homes. This is actually part of a wider £4 million project that will also create a further 33 dwellings. Now, word on the street is that Meridian Construction Services, that's Meridian when I can pronounce things properly, uh, Meridian Construction Services has been given the green light on the new build portion of the works. But before that work can commence, the North and South Wing extensions are to be demolished. And at the time of broadcast, a demolition contractor has yet to be appointed. You can find out about more, you can find out more, rather, about this project lead and many more just like it over at buildersconference.co.uk. Let's be honest, we all love a dozer, don't we? Um, well, the True 7 Group has just taken delivery of the UK's first D, uh, Komatsu D71 PXI-24, a machine that myself and many others first saw at Conexpo last year. And our mate Peter Haddock has been out to see the machine in action. Uh, Peter's actually produced a longer film complete with a detailed walk around. Um, now, if I play my cards right, uh, let's have a look. I should be able to share... There should be a link coming to you very, very soon to the full-length film, uh, but Peter's very kindly allowed us to bring you a sneak preview of said film. So sit back, grab yourself a coffee, and check this out. Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and here we are on site with a first for me. It's a first because I've never spoken to Jake from True 7 before, and also I've never come on site to see a Komatsu Dozer D71 PXI. That was launched, folks, at Con Expo, and now it's here, Jake. <laughs> Tell me all about it. D71 PXI, the I standing for intelligent, easy access point, all serviceable at ground level, 9% more power, hydrostatic drive, not torque converter, GPS screen which is factory fit, slope nose design, you can see both sides of the blade easily, Bluetooth radio, take hands free calls, air conditioning, joystick controls, comfortable for the operator. <laughs> Make sure you check out that full-length video on the Content with Media YouTube channel. And while you're there, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, as you've just seen, Peter is producing high-quality video content at a rate that makes the rest of us look downright lazy, so you won't be disappointed. Sorry to interrupt the guy with the funny glasses, but if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button as it helps our channel. Or, better still, share this video with a friend or a colleague. Thank you. Right, back to Beardy. Right, with the weekend now almost upon us, we're going to sign off with a bang. Uh, our buddy Rod Gilbert over at Daikon Explosive Demolition Corps over in the US of A alerted us to the implosion of six massive stacks at the Colbert fo uh, Fossil Plant in Alabama just a day or two ago. Uh, after a bit of searching, uh, I managed to find some footage of the blast. I warn you now, the footage isn't actually the best, but a blast is a blast, right? And, and besides, it's worth it just to see the final outcome. Take a look at this.
They managed to drop those stacks between two lines of buildings. That really is an incredible job. So thanks for letting us know about that one, Ron. And uh, very best wishes to all at Dicon. Uh, that pretty much wraps up this morning show. And it pretty much wraps up the week, too. Uh, I'll roll the outro in just a second before jumping over into the chat, which looks like it's been very busy this morning. Uh, go and see what's, what everyone's talking about over there. Uh, I won't be here tomorrow, of course, but we will deliver the weekend wrap first thing tomorrow morning, as usual. Uh, also, as it's a holiday here in the UK, I won't be here on Monday either. Um, but tune in anyway, as we've got something, a little something special for you, uh, just to keep you engaged and entertained while I'm off sunning myself in, in uh, Dorset. Uh, I'll be back here on Tuesday for the official start of the UK Working Week, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed and rearing to go. But until then... Have a great day. Stay safe. Look after yourself, your family, your friends, and your colleagues. And thanks for watching.